Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. Today in front of me I have the Samsung Galaxy Book 360 Pro. This is a 15.6 inch version. And sitting alongside it is a newly released Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Just look at this beautiful thing. Oh my gosh. So sitting right next to each other, they're almost the same size screen. The Tab S8 Ultra is one tenth of an inch taller. This is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, whereas the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is a 16 by 9. Uh, it's also about an inch and a quarter or so less in width than the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Otherwise, pretty similar in screen. Um, I do like the Ultra screen a little bit better though, because it's got a much higher pixel density, gets a little bit brighter, and it's just the newest tech. But what we're gonna demonstrate today is how to do the second screen feature and use this as a second monitor for our Galaxy Book Pro 360. So the first, way, first step that we need to do is to pull down the settings notification panel and you're gonna have an option called second screen. So you wanna go ahead and press on that. And that's gonna pull up this little, uh, little bit of text, a little bit of verbiage telling you what you need to do on your computer. So you're gonna be pressing the Windows key plus the K button at the same time to enable it on this end. And we have two different modes. One is drawing gaming, which offers a faster response, a little bit less latency. And the other one is video for smoother playback. This is gonna transmit more data so you can play more high bandwidth type videos like 4K. But and again, you're gonna have some more latency and stuff if you're working with Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that. So we're gonna leave it on the drawing, gaming, faster response. Oh, I should also mention too, this first mode, drawing, gaming, also allows S input. So if you're working with like Adobe products or whatever on your Galaxy Book Pro 360, Clip Art Studio, or you're using the desktop version of S Notes, you can go ahead and just copy that over here onto this screen and use your S Pen and continue to draw. Pretty awesome, I think. So let's go ahead and get this activated. We're gonna press the Windows key and K on the computer. Wait for the available devices list to show up. We have Brian's Tab SA Ultra. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. Give it a moment to connect. Okay, and we are connected. So we have a few options right off the bat. So we can press the Windows key and P, and that's gonna bring up a little option menu that allows us, it gives us the option to disconnect, to duplicate the screen, to extend the screen, which we're currently doing, and to enable second screen only. So if we switch over to duplicate, give it just a second, you're gonna see that my desktop has now been duplicated over on this display, which is great for when you wanna pick up your tablet and go to another room and work with your full desktop that you have available on your computer. The other great thing too is when you're using the second screen feature, and this is one of the only like remote desktop sharing apps that do this, it also transmits sound. So you don't get that in Space Desk or Super Display or a lot of these other third-party apps. So you get full sound support. So when you're working on a video edit or something like that, or if you happen to have a YouTube video playing and you just want to copy it over here real quick instead of starting it up, I know that's a bad use case, but just giving you guys an example. You can continue on this screen and still have the audio going. I think that's pretty sweet. That's pretty epic actually. So we're going to go ahead and switch back over to extend. You're going to notice something here real quick. We well, notice one problem right off the bat is that we have a 16 by nine display ratio and this is a 16 by 10 display ratio. So we're getting black bars. You see the black bar on the bottom? Let me try to tilt the screen a little bit more for you guys. We have a black bar at the top and a black bar on the bottom. Let's fix this real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, open up the Windows button and P and we're gonna disconnect. All right, so we're back. We're now disconnected from the Tab S8 Ultra. We're now, they're both separated. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to the Microsoft Store, all right? Sorry if my head keeps getting in the shot. I've got kind of a weird camera angle going on just to get all this stuff in. Um, then what we want to do is we wanna search for an application called Second Screen, all right? And there's gonna be a lot of options. If we start scrolling, you'll see a lot of them that have the word Second Screen. The application we want is strictly called Second Screen. You know, there's the icon right there. You go ahead and click on it. And when you click on it, you'll see that it's made by Samsung, Samsung Electronics Corporation LTD. That's the one you want. You want the one from Samsung. So you're gonna go ahead and install this real quick. Uh, agree to all the stuff. Give it just a moment. 
So what this does is this acts as a layer between the built-in second screen feature on the laptop and the second screen feature on the tablet. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the image and expand it out to where it's going to be full screen. Here's the cool part too. So you're going to open it on this. You only have to do this for the first time. All right. To allow your tablet to be found, turn on second screen in the quick menu, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to do that real quick, just like we did the first time. Let's go ahead and press second screen. Give it just a minute. Look what popped up here. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. All right. Connecting. Give it just a minute. Now look what we have. No black bars on the bottom, no black bars on the top. We are now using the full, full screen here. Here's another cool thing about it too. Let's go ahead and disconnect entirely. I want to show you guys this. Okay, so we have disconnected all this stuff. And we're going to exit out of the second screen application. All right. Exit out entirely. All right. Let's go ahead and start the second screen session again. All right. Enable that. We're going to leave it in drawing mode like we did before. We're going to press Windows K. So you see we have Brian's Tab S8 Ultra. We're not using the second screen app this time. We're just using the shortcut like we did the very first time. Okay, give it just a minute. Look what we have here. We have full, we have full screen again on this because what's happening is the second screen app that we downloaded earlier is now running in the background behind the scenes without you having to start it or anything like that. So now you have the conversion of the 16, point nine, 16 by 9 aspect ratio getting converted for the 16 by 10 screen. We now have a full screen experience on the Tab S8 Ultra with sound, with audio. So that is flipping, flipping awesome. And you, there's no resolution settings you have to do in your settings or anything like that. You just do it, set it, and use it. Let's see how it works real quick. So let's go ahead and open up an Excel document. We'll just open up something. All right, we'll do a blank workbook real quick. All right, let's go ahead and move it over here. Maximize it. Look at that. Check it out. I'm going to press the tab key. Look at that. That's pretty fast. Tab. So you can easily, no problem, use this as a second screen. Make sure you're in the faster mode. The, uh, the drawing mode instead of the video sharing mode, and you have much reduced latency, much reduced latency. All right, let's go ahead and drag this back over here. Exit out. Don't save. All right, so one other thing I want to share with you guys real quick. Um, let me go ahead and stop the uh, second screen sharing. If you guys have problems using this feature, like it's not compatible with your PC, because this is really designed to be used from the Samsung laptop to the Samsung machine over here. Um, however, this is compatible with all Windows PCs. It just, you may have one little issue. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna switch the video to a different session. I'm gonna do a screen recorder here real quick. All right, guys, so I have the screen recorder going. So if you get an issue in which you start the, the second screen feature and on the tablet, the tablet screen goes black and then it just kind of craps out and goes back to the main OS, you know, your, you know, your main home screen right here, it quits on you. It's because there's an issue with your wireless card directly connecting with it itself. So there is a workaround to that. So you're going to want to go ahead and go to device manager. All right. You're going to find your wireless card under wireless adapters. You'll right click on it. You'll go to properties. All right, and then you are going to go to advanced and then under your network type for your value here, you are going to want to pick 2.4 gigahertz 802.11b. It has to be on the B network. So once you pick this and pick OK, and then you go to start up the second screen feature, it will work. Um, however, this may impact your internet connectivity, whatever. So when you're done, you want to switch that back to the value that you had it before but that'll help you resolve any time that it doesn't connect with a non-Samsung PC. But if you are using a Samsung laptop, 
um, you're going to have no issues. It's going to work out of the box. Um, all right, guys, one last thing, too. I want to say I, I love both of these machines. I think they work very well together. I'm loving the second screen functionality. It really is like having pretty much like a desktop setup real quick on the fly with two portable devices. You know, once I'm done with this, boom, we're gone. We're on the road with it, you know. So that is sweet to be able to grab your second monitor and just skedaddle with it, head off to the couch or whatever. You can definitely get some productivity done with this. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.